Hi, oh my nose. <laughs> I'll try again. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I thought I'd do a kind of what I got for Christmas slash haul video um, because I haven't filmed one in such a long time and I got some really really cool stuff. Um, quite a lot of this was uh, January sale shopping, sale shopping in general um, and a little bit of a what I got for Christmas and what I spent Christmas money on. I'm not doing this to show off or anything, I just got some really cool stuff and I thought you guys might appreciate seeing it. Um, so yeah, uh, I suppose I'll start with what I got for Christmas. Um, so I put some money towards, I don't even know how to show you guys, a new tattoo. Um, I will do like a cut close up and film better shots of it. But I got a little stitch and he's all Hawaiian and adorable with his little hula skirt and oh, I love him and he now sits underneath my pumpkins which I don't think I've shown you guys my pumpkins either um so yeah I if you if you're new to this channel I am obsessed with pumpkins or although I think my pumpkin obsession is more present on Instagram um uh, another thing I'll talk about is I commissioned these ears from Maleficent ears who's rebranding so hopefully <laughs> we'll be able to pronounce her name um, but I love these. I loved her pumpkin ears. I own a pair of pumpkin ears. And, like, I love Christmas as well, so I kind of wanted a mix of the two. Um, so she does gingerbread ears. So I've got one ear a pumpkin, one ear a gingerbread. Um, and they're on my head at the moment. So this is the gingerbread side. And then this is the pumpkin side. And I absolutely love them. I cannot wait to wear them next year in November because we're going to Disneyland in November. Um, currently we have two trips planned. We are going in August and November, um, both times with people from the original um, SLP, XDLP group. And then one newbie from 2.0 has made the cut. <laughs> we're not horrible people, honestly. Um, but yeah, we just got on really well, so we're all going to Disneyland together in August and November. So that's going to be fun. Really looking forward to that. So yeah, these are these ears, and then I will put them on my head and show you guys what I got for Christmas. There is no particular order to this. Some of this is haul stuff, um, so if I pull it out, I'll show it to you guys and then be like, this is haul, this is Christmas. Anyway, I've babbled a lot. Let's get on with the haul. So, one of the first things I put my hands on is this um, um, Halloween Stitch pop vinyl. It was... Uh, I think it was an MCM exclusive. Uh, yeah, MCM Comic Con 2019 limited edition Halloween stitch. I've not had him out of the box, but he does have a little Jumba pumpkin. This is so, so me. So this was a gift from my now ex-boyfriend, but sorry, stitches for life. <laughs> but yeah, so thank you for that. My mum and dad, and when I say my mum and dad, I mean my mum because my dad had no idea. My mum <laughs> bought me this um, Lego set. I love it. It reminds me of a ride we used to go on when we were children. Um, and it, in a, it was in Breen and it was a caterpillar ride. And I absolutely love this. Um, so yeah, this was pretty nostalgic for me. I got one, my little brother got one, so there were... He was like, why are you building my Lego? I'm like, dude, this is my Lego. So this is the Lego set I got for Christmas because I'm five years old. And then I got some pyjamas for Christmas. I do have a Lion King pair as well, but I think they're in the wash. So these are Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter pyjamas. And these were from my cousin. So those are those. And then he also, ooh, box of Lego fell over. He also got me this giant Harry Potter 3D mug, so that's pretty cool. Um, I didn't get a lot for Christmas, but I'm super grateful for what I did get. It's not about the presents, it's about spending time with your family. I think that's the door. One second. So the doorbell went as I was recording, um, but I was, as I was saying before, it wasn't about the presents, it was about spending time with the family, which was really nice. Um, so now I'm going to move on to... No, I'm not because I just thought of one more thing. I got this frozen duvet which is now on my sofa bed because it's a single and um, I've got a double duvet on my bed. Um, but I got this frozen duvet. I love the colours on this, it's lots of purples. Um, I also found out a bit sneaky, the Primark one is exactly the same as this but they use more blues um, and then it is reversible. 
but the pattern on the back is blue snowflakes whereas this one is like a character outline print but yeah the front is the exact same image yeah i got this for christmas which i absolutely love um i'm big on frozen at the minute like really really big on frozen um so a few things i got in this haul are also frozen um but yeah so i got this for christmas one thing i forgot to show in my disneyland paris haul is this buzz lightyear umbrella i won't put it up inside because that's super bad luck um I'll just put it up a tiny bit. So it's Buzz's uh, thing. This is clear so you can see through it which is quite handy. And then he has wings. Which is really, really cool. So yeah, I love this. I was going around the parks like, got my children's umbrella. <laughs> uh, on another nostalgia trip, I got this. I've wanted it for such a long time. Um, ever since I saw the first Toy Story, I'm like, I want a Bo Peep. Um, and I got this from Menkind. The store by me was only a pop-up, so they had 20%, a further 20% off all their display units. So I got this one. I think I paid £20 for her. And only the next day I went in, they had 30% off, and I was like, okay then. But it's fine. So I got her, and then... Also from Menkind, I got this. He was also a display unit, so I think I paid £12 for him. He does have a slight chip on his nose. Other than that, you can't really notice. Um, I put my phone on here to charge. I put it in the bathroom when I'm watching videos in the bath. Sounds really weird, but I do. Um, and then sometimes if I don't put my phone on here, I'll put my glasses on here to keep them safe at night um, so nobody stands on them or they fall down or anything. So this is quite handy. I'm glad I got him. Um, I got this in the Disney store sale. He was £20 and I did like him, but I was like, I'm not gonna pay £20 for him. Um, and then he was reduced to £10 and I was like, yep, I'm gonna get him now. I think there was only two left and this was the one with the best box. So I got him and he's a summer convention uh, limited edition exclusive. I, on more ears I got some ducky and bunny ears and these are by Ears by M's. They're very very well made and I cannot wait to wear them in, in August. I'm just so excited. So yeah. Strong Toy Story theme at the moment. I ordered this from Shop Disney online. I think it was like £3.60 or it was quite or £2 something. Uh, I've got the Aliens pencil case, so it's even got like a little zip here where the prize thing is. I'm not sure exactly sure what you'd put in here, maybe a little rubber or a sharpener. I just thought this was really cute. So the lady took the price tickets off, so I'm not exactly sure how much I paid for this. I think it was £3.60. Uh, but I got the Billy Goat and Gruff mug from, um, from Toy Story. I wanted it as soon as I saw it. But I was just like, it's one of them, it looks awkward to drink out of, I'll probably never use it. But for that price, I thought that would be quite cool. It goes with my lamp. <laughs> oh yeah, for some reason, on this lamp, Bo Peep's removable, um, so she falls off a lot. So I might stick some blue tack to the bottom of her feet, so she doesn't keep falling off. Mainly when the cat jumps on the window ledge, she likes to go flying. When the postman came, uh... <laughs> They delivered the Valentine's Day card that I bought, but now me and my boyfriend have split up. So I guess I'm just gonna have to make a print out of this. But it's really cool. Um, I just love it. So Valentine's Day card for one. This is technically a haul, I guess. I did buy the fabric and make the skirt myself. Um, so this, I spent about a week making all the characters and stitching them on. Um, so we've got Olaf. Christoph, Anna, we've got Sven and his little pie, and then there's Olaf and the birds while they're doing a the little tap dance scene, we've got Elsa and Bruni, um, Olaf and some um, leaves, and then a little tiny Bruni on fire. I just thought this would be really cool. Again, one I will probably wear in August have a full-on frozen theme day but yeah so I made this skirt so I got some um, frozen converse from shoe this was the box um, which is quite cute they're both the same so I bought two pairs um, 
here. I bought an Arna pair and they're still available in the sale. Um, I did check, I bought these like three days ago. They've now both gone down further, so they're now £10 less than what I paid for them, which is annoying. Um, but I got an Arna pair. And her cape is velvet. So that's Arna. And then the same with the leaf pattern on the other side, but the converse symbol is black and purple. And then they're all purple on the inside. And the converse symbol at the back is um, purple and pink. And then I got the Elsa pair, which are kind of the same, but they're white with purple snowflakes. Um, and then the Elsa on the other side is blue glitter. Um, so yeah, I paid $19.99 for Arna pair and I think they were $22.99 for the Elsa pair um, but I paid with Klarna so I've only paid one one instalment because I did pay in three um, so these have worked out quite cheap at the moment uh, so it'd be about £43 for the pair and then now Arna is $14.99 and Elsa is $17.99 so I literally £10 less than what I paid for them three days ago which is really annoying but it's still a really good bargain I think um, I bought some shoe protect stuff to spray them with I think it's by Empire yeah so I've got some shoe protection spray so I'm going to spray those give them a clean make sure they don't get dirty apparently this makes the water bead off and they are dirt resistant which is good um, especially with the Elsa pair being white so I'm probably going to do that later today if the weather's nice so yeah I bought these and I'm probably going to wear them as a mismatched pair I already have one so my mum was like what why are you wearing odd shoes and I'm like Anna and Elsa mum um, and the one day I did wear them a lady was like can I take a photograph of your shoes I was like yeah sure but she only took a pair of, so I, she only took a photo of the Anna side so I don't know if she knew they were Elsa but how do you not notice that someone's wearing odd shoes? I don't know, so thanks random lady that asked to take a picture of my shoes. I got this School Rock um, memo pad, notepad thing, note block thing. Um, I, how much was he originally? So he was originally £8, I got him for £2.40. I really, really like the note, the note, sticky notes on it. Um, I might buy another one literally just for the sticky notes because they're really adorable. I saw though somebody who had the um, Hook and Smee decoration and they put it on here and it just looked like a perfect, like it was part of it which is really good. I paid 2 40 for this. It's quite heavy. I'm not sure where I'm going to stick it. But. Right, this is like the bargain. Barg, barg, barg. So this was originally £15. I paid £2 for it. Um, so it's the Giggle McDimples um, little Polly Pocket playset that she's part of. Um, I thought this would be absolutely perfect for a Disney bound. The front opens up as well. I think it has like a magnet here. And you do get a little Giggle key ring. Um, so I suppose like for children they could detach it and play with it and the Giggle could be playing in her playset. But that's really cute. And for her, to get it for £2 I just absolutely definitely have to. And it is a bag. You won't get much in there because it's probably the size of my hand but for £2 I thought this was really good. So shout out for Chloe who is from the Disney fam. Uh, she picked this up for me because I wanted him and I was like well it's €35. Euros. Um, it's, it's a lot for a, a slinky dog. He lights up. Someone is phoning me. So I'm back. My friend Kaylee called um, as I was in the middle of showing you guys Slinky Dog um, because uh, one of the children she was babysitting saw my Slinky Dog backpack on my Instagram story and called me to have a look at it. <laughs> so this is this light up Slinky Dog. I've shown you a think how it lit up. Um, he's originally from Disneyland Paris but um, but I got my friend Chloe from the uh, first Disney fam trip to pick him up for me and he lights up. So I love him um, and she got him during an annual pass party so he only cost €25 Euros because you've got extra discount with your annual pass. So thank you very much Chloe for getting Slinky Dog for me. It was one of my biggest regrets not getting him when we were there in December. So I got him. 
Um, so this was the backpack that um, that they called 2C. Um, I love him. He's a box lunch exclusive. Uh, he's still got his tags on because I haven't taken them off yet. Um, annoyingly, today he's on sale. So he's 17 50 cheaper than I bought him for. Um, so that's really annoying, but this will be no good to you by the time the video goes up anyway. Um, yeah, he's got like a clear backpack. This was my treat to myself. Um, I used Christmas money and then I split the payment in three with Klarna. So he's definitely on a payment plan. He's not 100% mine yet because I've not fully paid for him. But I love him. Um, he's really, really cute. And I wanted the Buzz Lightyear one to go with it as well and like the print inside is adorable. I will do like a lounge fly bag collection um, video at some point because I've accumulated quite a few in short time so this is him. So my camera died um, I'd like to thank you guys very much for watching this video um, stay tuned because that lounge fly video I spoke about earlier is coming and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!